What's happening, Planet X? Chilling here this week with Victor Sheldon, former eight-time world and national jet ski racer, currently working on his professional mountain bike skills. Let's go ahead and take a look. Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here. Planet X. 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 Plan
Don't move. We'll be right back with more Victor Sheldon right after this. Planet X TV. Planet X, I told you not to move. We're going to get into more Victor Sheldon right here. Thanks for telling me about your jet ski life. That's pretty sick. I can't. That's a, definitely a looking up to him right now. Uh, I want to know more about the mountain biking career. It's, you've seriously been hauling some ass. You go from water to land. It's a big difference. Land isn't so forgiving. Uh, tell me about the mountain biking. Yeah, so I, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I, after jet skiing, I went to work for a sponsor of mine, um, kind of being a desk guy. Didn't work out for me very well. And, uh, you know, I kind of bounced around in the industry for about, I don't know, almost 10 years um, from when I quit racing jet skis. And I really, like I said, it just wasn't really working for me. Um, I'm more of a, I'm more of a uh, you know, working for myself type, type person. Um, I picked up a mountain bike. I've always mountain biked when I was racing jet skis, but I never raced jet skis. So the, making the transformation was, was kind of seamless for me because I was able to uh, take my racing knowledge and apply it to mountain biking. Um, since then, I've since mountain biking, I, I've won uh, uh, three state titles here in California and, and a national championship in 2013. And then um, just recently, last week, uh, January 6th, I raced uh, cyclocross in uh, Asheville, North Carolina and won a national championship in my age category there. So. Uh, I've been taking the taking the storm with the with the bike racing myself, and then also promoting my local mountain bike series that I promote here in, in San Diego County called Quick and Dirty, and uh, we we do uh, a ten race series a, a year, and uh, you know we're starting off this year in in February at Balboa Park, and then going on throughout the whole year we have the Filthy Fifty, the Dirty Thirty. I mean we've. We've, uh, you know, everything's blanketed under quick and dirty, but these are the other races that we, that we, uh, that we promote and, uh, you know, within, you know, San Diego County. So quick and dirty, you're literally throwing it quick and dirty. You guys are just racing all over the place. What other stops are you guys making? Quick and dirty was, was the name is just what it was. We, we, uh, you know, I, I'd been going to some mountain bike races and they took all day long. You know, they were like, you're there all day. You're waiting for your... You know, your podium picture, you're waiting for the results to come out. So we, we've designed this, this series to kind of mimic uh, an hour to an hour and a half long race. It's kind of, it's really fast. We race, some of the races that we promote are during the week on weeknights at Balboa Park and in Lake Hodges. So um, it, it, it kind of just what it is. It's a shorter type of racing. We have an RFID timing system that... Uh, gets our results and timing out within like when people are finished we can basically tell them what they got sure. so people are really really excited about that feature in our racing um, but really it's just we just wanted to make things seamless organize very nicely and give some give back to what people are you know paying for and giving them their timing their scoring uh, you know right after the race and, and, and give back to the community of mountain biking It. That's awesome, you guys. Victor Sheldon getting deep right here on Planet X. We'll be right back with some more of his action. Planet X TV.
Second mountain bike race, Victor did a pretty good job, I think. It's just a lot of fun. Mountain bike people are a lot nicer than road bike people, I think. <laughs> I think the organization was top notch. It was great to see transponders on, on everyone. I think that's definitely a must with scoring and timing because that's what everyone that's out here, that, that's what they want. They want results, they want quick efficiency, and, and they want to go back home. And just like right now, I'm trying to get back home and see my kids. It's nice to have a, a race series like this 10 miles from my house. The course was great, everything was well marked and well organized. Race results right away, just absolutely well done. You know, anything that we can do to, you know, support mountain biking and racing in our backyard is, uh, you know, something that we're going to focus on. Just come on out and give it a try. Come and support mountain biking in San Diego. We love this. All right, Planet X, you guys have probably known this guy for a while, the fish. Victor, I got to know some dirt on the fish. We've seen him around here on Planet X. What's going on with the fish? Man, it's hard to track down the fish. He's uh, all over the place, as you know. Um, Chris and I actually, uh, we traveled in 1989 together. When I, it was my first year, as a, first year in the pro class. He was a veteran. So uh, the jet pilot van took us all around the, the, you know, the, the U.S., and I uh, have too many stories I can even um, even start to, to tell you, and they would take a long time. But We know he's a wild man. <laughs> yeah, the best one was, like, he'd always see, he, he, I'd always kind of ram into him on the start because <laughs> I was more of an intense guy, you know, in the very beginning because I looked at it like, hey, I better pass guys now because everyone's bunched up versus wait till, the, wait till it gets, gets out there, so... So he'd always be like, have this, you know, like, where's Victor? Where's he coming? When's he coming? So, but uh, yeah, we had some really good races. Fish is a good dude. And uh, he's actually came out to our quick and dirty races and raced um, himself. He, uh, you know, just fish, fish fashion, just bike that's kind of different than everyone else's, uh, riding a tire different than everyone else's and um, oh, yes. making, right. making loud, obscene uh, gestures. Just making sure he is well known and everybody knows that he's there. That's, I think, what he wants right there. Planet X, Chris, Victor, the fish. We'll be right back here on Planet X. Planet X TV. Planet X, Victor and Hans Ray have been at it for a while doing their thing. I want to hear more about your interaction with Hans Ray. You know, Hans, I've known Hans for a long time with uh, he, Brian Lopes is a good friend of mine, another mountain bike legend, and uh, he introduced us back in the day. We've gone on a few rides together, but uh, my, la my latest encounter with Hans was uh, he actually was a charity. His, his charity was uh, Wheels for Life, and they were a charity for our uh, last year's Filthy 50 um, Grand Fondo race that we hold in uh, San Diego River Park and so that was really cool for him to come out he actually raced our own race and we gave money back to his foundation it, it always feels really good to um, to give back to the community and give back to charities like it's like his you know I think we ended up buying like I don't know 10 bikes or 15 bikes for uh, you know for for his cause so it felt really good to be able to do that Victor Sheldon on Hans Ray, check out Wheels for Life right here on Planet X. We'll be back after this. Well, uh, Wheels for Life is a nonprofit charity that I started uh, 
11 years ago with my wife Carmen and we give bicycles to people in need of transportation in development countries. So basically, be it in Africa or Asia or South America, there's a lot of people who live in extreme poverty and they, they don't have transportation. They, to get to school or to bring their goods to the market or to go and maybe get a job or become an entrepreneur, you know. And so people load up their bikes with their produce and products or kids often have to walk five or ten kilometers to school. And a lot of these places are so remote they don't even have public transportation. And even if they would have public transportation, these kind of people would not be able to afford them. So we we give them bikes and we um, really changing lives that way. And bikes are used for everything. You know, the bikes are shared between the whole family just for them to fetch their drinking water. You know, often they have to walk a mile or so to the to the well. And then imagine carrying like buckets of water a mile down a dirt road. You know, and with a bicycle, it's it's a lot easier. You know, you can actually travel about four times further and carry four times more cargo than on foot. So to date we've given away um, over 8,000 bicycles in 30 different countries and it's a very pure uh, charity. We're very proud of the fact that everybody in our organization works for free. Basically all the money that we uh, receive from donations goes straight towards buying bikes. We're cutting out all the middlemen and um, trying to make a little difference. They help people change their lives. Some use them to, to carry their goods to the markets. Others use them to take their children to school. Others use them to take their children and relatives to the hospitals or to health centers. I get asked often, why do you do it? Why do you enhance do it? You know, it's like, isn't it a bottomless pit? Can you really make a difference? Well, the answer to that is, yeah, yeah, we can all make a difference. <laughs> All right, Planet X, I told you guys not to move. I appreciate you guys sticking around with us. Victor Sheldon, what have you been up to lately, man? I know you got some family going around doing the mountain biking. X-Pro, Jessica, everybody probably wants to hang out with you. What's up, dude? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm really um, hustling a lot, you know. So, you know, I, I'm raising two children. Um, they're 9 and 10. And so it's it's been it's been awesome. I mean, I've been fortunate enough to be my own boss lately to be able to spend the time that I, that I want to with them. And, you know, you know, with with that being said, you know, safety comes into into measures older in your life when you kind of have a family like that. And, you know, being in the biking community, you know, there are a lot of road tragedies that have happened. You know, it's really nice that the three the three foot law has come into place for the road cyclist. I mean, even though we're just riding mountain bikes, we still have to get there sometimes on the, you know, on the on the road. So, you know, it seems like, you know, with all the you know, injuries that have happened on the road, it's, it's nice that people are starting to be more aware of, of the rules and, you know, the, the cycling uh, ways. It's crazy what a kid, uh, having children will make you think about uh, the, the, the safety of bikes, you know, that's probably something everybody's going, oh, that's no big deal. It's actually a really serious, serious thing, especially in California. People get hit all the time right here, right in front of our, our road here. Uh, so what else is going on, dude? Uh, I <clears throat> really that and you know promoting promoting the mountain bike series um, and then racing myself so I have uh, I have a busy schedule you know like when I leave here I'm taking them you know I'm picking them up from tennis um, and then you know you know then dinner then it's just like it's like uh, it's like Groundhog Day half the time where you just get them ready for school my wife is amazing she she does she's incredible Piper is uh, yeah I couldn't do it without her <laughs> So yeah, we got a good program. I got a good, healthy family, and we're really, really fortunate to have that. That's that's, you know, very important. Well, it sounds like all is going well for you guys, Victor. I really appreciate you coming out on my show today. Planet X. We'll see you guys next time. Planet X TV.
If you wish to appear on Planet X TV, or to get more information, please email us at info at planetx.tv. Blah, 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 blah. Hello there. My name is Jakai Mickelson, and I'm a Planet X viewer. And I'm here to give you the message I received a couple years ago. You should be watching Planet X. You should be watching nothing but Planet X. Look into my eye and realize you should be watching Planet X. There is nothing else but Planet X. Quit your job and do nothing but watch Planet X. cyclists I want to appeal to all your drivers out there please share the road with cyclists you know because roads were built in the first place for bicycles not for cars so give us some respect happy trails only here only here only here, here. Only here. Only here. Only here. Only here.